Welcome to English 248A, Masterpieces of World Literature. This is an online course, so we won't have any face-to-face -face class sessions this semester. But I thought it'd be better if you had my face to go with my name. So I'm your professor, Chad Green. While you are encouraged to chat with me during my office hours from 1 to 2 p.m. on Wednesdays, and from 9 to 10 a.m. on Thursdays, I prefer to be contacted by email at cgreen at cerritos.edu. I'll be splitting the rest of this welcome video between answers to one inspirational why question and one procedural how question. First, why should we spend a semester reading the literature of our ancient ancestors from all around the world? And second, how can you complete your required online orientation? So first, why should we spend a semester reading the literature of our ancient ancestors from all around the world? Reading the earliest masterpieces of world literature is an opportunity to visit the ancient cultures whose ideas and ideals continue to shape our modern society. Appropriately enough, the heroes of the epics on which we will spend significant time this semester are often travelers whose encounters with cultures other than their own lead to opportunities to win not only glory, but also knowledge. Our own journeys through these ancient texts, which may, at times, seem similarly arduous, also offer the reward of knowledge through the exploration of both their seemingly universal similarities and seemingly distinctive differences. The seemingly universal similarities of these earliest masterpieces of world literature suggest one of the reasons for their immortal appeal. These masterpieces attempt to answer some of the most common questions asked by all people all around the world. Who are we? Where did we come from? How much control do we have over our own lives? How can we lead lives of virtue, balancing our desires as individuals with the needs of our communities? How can we achieve immortality? And the seemingly distinctive differences of many of these earliest masterpieces of world literature suggest a second reason. These masterpieces are artifacts that capture some of the most uncommon characteristics possessed by one particular people in one particular place in the world. Even in our modern society, these earliest literary masterpieces created by our ancient ancestors from all around the world hold the potential to help us understand the attitudes and actions of specific cultures. Second, how can you complete your required online orientation? Well, you're about to finish the first of the four steps by watching this welcome video. After this, there are three remaining steps in the orientation process to complete by 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday, August 20th. First, read your syllabus, which contains the answers to many of the questions you may have about English 248A. Second, take your orientation quiz, which is based on the information in this video and in the syllabus. Third, post your introduction video to find all these materials all in one place Click on the link labeled Modules on our Canvas site for English 248A. That is, by the way, how I recommend that you and your classmates navigate our online class, by clicking on Modules. That way, you'll see all the elements of the class arranged in the order I intend for you to complete them. I also want to clarify what I mean by this week. In English 248A this semester, our weeks will typically start on Tuesday and end on Monday. This online orientation module is an exception to that pattern. As I mentioned earlier, the official due date for completing your online orientation is 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday, August 20th. Unofficially though, you can take until 5.59 a.m. on Wednesday, August 21st to complete your three remaining steps in the orientation process. After completing your online orientation, you should move on to the lessons from module one. I look forward to working with you this semester in English 248A.